What is going on guys? It is Don from Homes Outdoors. We are back with the Backyard Pond. This is gonna be a short episode number three. We got our little net right here. We're gonna walk around it and see just what we have around here. There are a lot of baby fish in here, as you can see all through here. This right here is our bed area. Ever since we cleared it out, we got a lot more raccoon prints here, here, all through here. They've been walking around this bank. But it's looking really nice up through here. So we're gonna leave this here. We are not gonna remove any more algae today. We do have our trail camera. We are gonna look up all of those pictures just to see what we captured out through here. But take a look at the backyard pond. Yeah, like, look at all these raccoon tracks right here. Raccoon all through here. I don't see any deer tracks whatsoever through here. There are thousands of little baby fish, though. I don't know how well y'all can see that school of fish over there. I wonder if I clip this on here. Like so. And if I, let's see, flip it around. Maybe we could capture pictures of some, or a little video of these little baby fish. Just a baby. See what's out there. Probably can't because I've seen that they all skidded off. Oh, there's a couple. Looks like they're more toward the dock. Let's flip this camera around. If we can get some under the dock footage. Just to see what we can get underneath there. Like I said, here's underneath the dock. I don't know how well y'all can see it. There might be some stuff in there. There might not be. But I know there's some little baby fish in there. And then we also got, like I said, in here camera around again in here I know I seen a frog in here this right here is our nursery how are we looking in here still looking good in here all right there's our nursery Let's see if we get anything in that scoop no just some weeds but this thing has our baby, some baby fish in here, and it's got those tadpoles in there as well. Now, if you're just now tuning in, here's what we're doing with the backyard pond, okay? So you got the pond. Originally, you had this giant section all throughout here with algae. And then back in there, we got beds all through here. We got the beds kind of dotted out through here as well. Because it's all, as you can see, I mean, it's all nice sandy soil. So we removed all the algae from here to help expose it, you know, bring it more into the sun, if you will. As you see all the baby fish, you probably can't see it, but there's baby fish all throughout here. Now, we went ahead, removed all this. But back there, right there, that's our feed zone. We're gonna have most of the algae is just gonna sit back in here. And then over here, we're gonna remove a little bit of the algae, but not too much. So you'll have your bed area all throughout here your big feed zone back there with all the algae and everything for all the bottom feeders. And those bottom feeders are primarily gonna be those tadpoles when we get baby catfish. And then there's also gonna be a whole bunch of crawfish because I know I did see a couple baby crawfish through here when we were moving it. But those chill out over there, It'll provide a source of food for them. Same with all the baby fish. Like there's some baby fish up here. You probably can't see it that well and I probably can't catch them. Willing to bet I can't catch them. Yeah. And then this right here is the nursery. And as you can see, it sits about maybe two inches over. And it moves with ease. So as things get older, they hatch out. They can jump on here, come out there. 
or I know all your panfish and everything, they're really good jumpers, so they'll just jump right out. That's kind of like the, the project, if you will, for the backyard pond. Now let's, moving along through here, walking off through here, you can probably see a lot of ripples and everything. Those are gonna be frogs jumping and everything. Like all throughout here, there's frogs, those tadpoles, a lot more raccoon prints back in here as well. We did stock a whole bunch of bluegills, some pumpkin seeds and everything. Look at the amount of raccoon prints there are, all peppered throughout this area. Big school of fish right in there, chilling right by that leaf. Probably can't see it that well, but they're all right in there. There's just baby fish all throughout this whole section of the pond back in here. You can see where Maya was going through there. You see some frogs jumping. We also got a whole bunch of minnows in here. So I'm assuming a lot of these schools of fish are going to be minnows. And then here's the smaller section. Right up through here. Should have a whole bunch of frogs and everything. You see all that nice sand on the bottom of it. We gotta redo our pump system right here as well. Get that aeration flowing again. Raccoon prints all through here. Still got the decoys in there. You see the frogs coming in here. Now we do have a lot of frogs out here, so we're probably gonna end up coming in here since it still is frog season, we'll take some of the bigger frogs, leave some of the smaller ones. Or vice versa, it just depends. But without further ado, let's grab this trout cam right here. We'll leave the trout cam here, we'll pull the card out of it, shut it off and everything, and see what we caught on here. I expect to see chickens, raccoons, and who knows, probably me too. But without further ado, Let's warp on down to the HQ, get this thing plugged in, and see what we got. All right, we are back at the HQ. We are going to go over these trail camera pictures. We had that trail camera up for about a week. So, without further ado, let's get straight into it. There are 70 images on here. Starting off with number one, we got Maya. Maya. Also Maya, there's Daffy, Daffy and a chicken. Looks like Daffy really likes that clean bank. And we got our first raccoon. All right, that picture right there was taken at 9.06. Oh, let's go back here. Next picture, don't really see any difference between those two. Got another raccoon right there. Got a frog right here, if you can see that. That frog right there. There's another raccoon. And another one, right underneath that dock. And another raccoon right there. It's probably, it might be that same one or a different one. Got a lot of raccoons out there. Right here, you got a frog popped up. See it right there. And we got another raccoon. Another rat. Yep, another raccoon. Raccoon. I think there could be something over here. Based off the two pictures. Or not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Got a frog just popped up. Look at all those frogs right here. You got three frogs right here, four frogs, five, maybe six, and then look at this skunk right here. Didn't think we'd see a skunk out here. I expected mostly raccoons. And another raccoon. Another raccoon. Oh, two raccoons right there. Got another raccoon, raccoon. All right, we are on, just 
just about day four. Let's see, three chickens. Chickens out there scratching up the bank. They like that new bank. There we go, nighttime. We got two raccoons. Ooh, look at that. We got a family of three raccoons right here. There are a lot of raccoons at the back here pond, I must say. They like that bank. Must be easier for them to get food. Here we got another raccoon. This one was foggy out, so we got two raccoons cruising through the day. Well, doesn't look like anything's changed. And we got a crow. There we go. Two more raccoons. Another raccoon is going for a little swim. One raccoon right there. Just cruising up the bank. There's Daffy right there. And he's like, what is that? And we got another chicken. They're really scratching up that bank. Extra food and everything. And we got another raccoon. Raccoons are back. They're back pretty consistently. And this is when we came in, got the truck camera, and filmed the video. So, after seeing all the footage of the trail camera and everything, I'm thinking we're going to set some of the dog proofs up when it comes time to harvest these raccoons. We'll put those dog proofs up. We might end up setting a trap for that skunk. Maybe do a catch, clean, and cook. But we'll just see. We are going to reposition this trail camera, put it more toward the back of the pond, see if anything's around the feed zone that we created. But with that being said, that's going to conclude today's episode for the back air pond. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video, and stay tuned for the next adventure. Peace.